Right Billy, welcome to Cheltenham. Uh, just tell me a bit about how the move came about. Um, I was out with family about five days ago, um, just out for a family day down in Kent and got a phone call and it was Mark Yates. He said, um, what was my situation at Exeter? I told him, um, he said, we'd like to, have, like to have a chat, so bring me back, bring me back that night. Um, we had a chat and kind of got done in the next couple of days from there, really. Yeah, he said he's, he's tried to sign you a couple of times before, so it's nice to know that the manager's been monitoring you for, for a number yeah. of years. Um, I did speak to him before I went down to Exeter. It wasn't as lengthy as it was the other day, because um, I think I'd already, so I'd already um, agreed my deal with Exeter at the time, so um, I was to get the phone call, which was very pleasing. Yeah, so tell me about your age. You started at Orient, is that right? And then, but you've been over west quite a while now, haven't you? I have, yeah. I started at Leighton Orient. I had six months at Kidderminster. Um, and then from there, I went to Exeter for a couple of years. Then uh, got signed by Crew. was up there for three years. Back to Exeter for two years and now here. And uh, what do you think you can bring to Cheltenham? Hopefully just uh, attacking fullback. Hopefully a few goals. Um, some set-piece delivery. General and into the and into the team really. Yeah, set piece is something you work a lot on. You've always been quite handy with the deliveries. Yes, yeah, it's, it's always um, something that's been in my locker ever since I started. So I'm, I'm, it's good to have that. And if I can bring that, to the team, good. Yeah, obviously Exeter came down and Cheltenham just missed out um, on promotion last season. You expecting much of a change this season in League Two after a couple of years in League One? I think it's going to be. Tougher league, maybe than what League One is going to be. I mean, there are some, there are some big sides in this division now that are all going to be up there fighting for uh, fighting for promotion. I mean, if, and if we can go one step further than the uh, lads did last year, then, then it'd be great. I mean, it's going to it's going to be tough, but um, the gaffer says they play the right way, play good football, and that's what got them there last year. And if if I can help to go one step further, then so be it. It'd be very yeah. good. The couple of years you had at Crew, I mean, was that an example of the, the sort of football you think that could be successful? Yeah, definitely. I think football's changing. I think it's a lot more about playing football. And it's not so much people seem to think of these League Two and maybe the conferences. People just who feel the field here, big target man. It's not like that anymore. I think the game's changing in a big way. And I think if you can play a lot of football, you'll, you'll get you'll get more results. Yeah. Do you know any of the lads here at the moment? You played with any of them before? No, I don't. Um, it'd be good. It'd be interesting to meet them all tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Um, hopefully, I'll settle in really quickly and, and get going. You're going to move up to, to the area. I am, yeah. Um, all the stuff's already up in storage. It's um, it's ready to go. So it's just a matter of finding somewhere now. Yeah. And as the manager said, the aim, you know, one step better than last season. Is that the, the aim from the outset? I think it is. I think he wants that. He wants a promotion. So um, I think everyone will be working hard at the club. You can see the club is working hard in the off season. As it is now. So yeah, if we go one step further, it'd be fantastic. And I think Chel- Cheltenham always seems to manage to avoid Exeter in terms of the divisions they're in. But you'd have plenty at Cheltenham for Orient, wouldn't you? A few times and probably for Crew as well. Do you remember yeah. many, many, many of the games at all? Um, to be honest, no. I mean, so Long many time games. Ago. Um, obviously, enjoy playing uh, at Cheltenham because it's always, I always remember it as such a fantastic pitch and a nice little tight ground that the fans are kind of right next to you, basically. And it's, uh, no, it's a good ground. I'm looking forward to playing there.